Dallas Carr, droning around New Brunswick, Canada, and traveling to his other home in the Philippines. I don't think I can make it. He's not going by drone, of course. This is madness. <laughs> Dallas Carr shares many of his travel delights with YouTube. His drone is an always experiencing delight. So after two years of flying drones, my most dreaded fears happened. And I'm getting a little too old to climb trees, especially trees with no branches. I my drone just survived the crash in that tree up there, and it's still intact. Can you see me? But he does get some extraordinary captures. There are other facets of this channel that offer a peek inside the plural lifestyle of Dallas Carr. You took it upon yourself to single-handedly make your own decision on what direction we should go in. That's not what this marriage is about, and you know it. <laughs> Maybe plural wasn't the right word. <laughs> So if you want to get your droning or your travel on and you prefer doing, I don't know, all of that from the comfort of your own screen instead of the plane, <laughs> check out Dallas Carr. Jerry rigs it. Jerry's got quite the chore farm over there. Then we're we'll trying to get the rest of this sheet material hung up before it gets any wetter. Well, and I didn't have a drill small enough nor the patience to drill every single hole. His channel, Jerry Rigs It, is mainly about all the homestead projects and conundrums that he finds himself in in the middle of. I got to thinking. Because she said, well, it's going to have to be mouse proof. We're going to have to try to figure out a way to make it right mouse proof. And she's like, you think you can make that work? I think I can make it work for a linen closet. There are lots of ideas out there, so Jerry rigs it, gets a ton of them dropped off at his place. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful to be creative and make interesting stuff in life? This is the meaning of what I said. The more ideas you share or bring to life, the more ideas you will get. Jerry seems to be an idea magnet for sure. And of course, when I try to do something, I usually have to get it wrong a couple of times before I finally do it. Jerry Riggs, it also shows a few random things. As you can see, we got a cat that thinks it's a chicken. We got melons, and we got cucumbers. We've gotten a couple of cucumbers off these cucumber plants. There are a couple of uploads a week, so if you're feeling handy and you need ideas for whatever's lying around your place, if it can be rigged, Jerry Riggs it. Broken Gardening. Broken gardening is all about starting wherever you are and growing wherever you're planted. Literally. You can be broke and still grow stuff, right? So this right here is plantain. I called it yard lettuce. Yeah, all that back there mostly is plantain. Here is dandelion, and it is also growing in the crack of my driveway. There are a few other tips thrown in. And if you follow the cord. Doo -doo -doo. I got the little charger thing right there. But broken gardening is about dealing with brokenness and brokenness. Been experiencing people coming out of the woodwork. People you haven't heard from in years. When people get scared, they look for familiarity. Broken gardening is packed with topics that matter to frugal living in general, including prepping and storage, budgeting, and of course, gardening. There's a a lot to clean up here. One, so that the tomato plants stay healthy. Two, so they're not a crowded. So whether you're broken and gardening or you're broke and gardening, this channel has some encouragement for you. Check her out. The droning expate in pate. <laughs> Homestead projects and problem solving. Frugal gardening while maintaining mental health. Are these your people? <laughs> 